my god, I didn't know that. Hi, my awesome doll lover. Today is really unusual unboxing for me because this is my first BGD from Volx company and I'm really, really excited to open it. If you don't know, Volx is a Japanese company and they produce not only ball jointed dolls but also Dolphy Dream dolls. It's animal looking dolls with joints too and a lot of different hobby related things for painting or like plastic miniatures they have a lot of things and this company actually started as a little hobby shop uh, back in 1972 so pretty old one from time to time besides selling just usual uh, standard models by JD they sell specially created dolls which you can buy only uh, by winning in a lottery so you should win lottery to have a chance to buy a doll. So back in 2016 they was making lottery for two dolls which supposed to represent uh, characters of a novel A Little Women and that was Sisters Jo and Bess March. This novel is written by American writer Louisa May Alcott in 1868 and this novel gained really high popularity and actually they also have a movie. This is Meg, Amy, Beth and Jo which I haven't seen yet, but I'm going to because now I have one of the sisters. As I learned later, there is also a very old anime based on this novel. Jo March character is a strong and willful woman. Jo loves literature, she composes plays and also she is a tomboy. Actually, I don't know how I survived without trying to open this box. I mean, I actually <laughs> tried to open this box, I'm not sure if you can see, but I stopped myself and decided that I need to do it with you together. Okay, let's start unboxing this huge box with SD size doll. <sighs> Guys, look at this. This doll is four years old, but I found her on Japanese uh, auction and it's unboxed doll, so she was never uh, unboxed before and her lid even was never touched. So it's pretty nervous moment for me because it's my first Vox doll and she's just stunning and I was dreaming about her for a long time. Okay, let's take the box from the box. Oh my, she's heavy! Heavy girl. <sighs> All right. Okay, I don't need this anymore. Goodbye. The box is very pretty. The main pattern of it is black and white stripes. On top it has a sticker with a portrait of the doll. Below it is the name of the doll line, Super Dolphy, a name of the novel in Japanese translation, Wakakusa Managatari, which could be roughly translated as the story of young life. We see on the box also a beautiful bouquet, and a bit below it is a Junichi Nakahara signature, a Japanese graphic artist and an inspiration to nearly all shoujo manga. This doll was released as part of collaboration with Junichi Nakahara brand. On the side there is also another sticker with a photo of the doll and information about her. Main part of the box is just red. Are you ready to open her? Damn, I'm shaking, it's so... It... so many stuff as you can see this box is full of different stuff uh, let's start from the beginning I guess it's some kind of instructions let's open it and see First is a little shit about makeup maintenance and cautions about it. Of course, this was all hand painted. Another paper is a form to order owner specific optional parts, like different hands. The most beautiful booklet is Joe Mar specific. On the front, we can see beautiful photos of this doll. One of them is together with the second doll, Beth March. On the back are illustrations by Junichi Nakahara for the novel and information regarding the influence of Little Women in Japan, and also some information about Joe and Beth. March. Inside is what included with the doll, putting on outfit instructions, 
and way of arranging her hair. There are also a very big guidebook to the Super Dolphy world, containing all the important information about BJD dolls, care of them, ways of changing different parts, it also contains history of Super Dolphy. And the last informational paper is about provided by Vogue's different maintenance services. Okay, let's do this. This is a huge ass bag with outfit for German and I had no idea how cute this dress is. I guess it's not a dress, it's like a top and bottom skirt. I mean, I saw her dress on pictures, but I had no idea how huge it is. Just look at it. Oh my god, it's so huge. All right, let's move. The next thing is of course her gorgeous hair and also little additional hand. This is a very elegant hand. I also know that the left hand was included additionally to the current right for dolls which was sold during the Vogue doll party. Let's move to other thing. Oh, this is shoes. These shoes are made from black fabric. They have metal buckles on the front with a black and white bow. They have heels and the sole is made of very nice black plastic. Inside is a golden Vogue's logo. Let's open the wig. I need to be super careful. I mean, probably not. Probably it's fine. I thought it's like a bit curly, but it's actually not super curly. Okay, I need my knife again because it's like floating here. Right now this wig is in a black net to protect it and inside is a white paper for it to hold its form. These are pretty standard ways to keep wigs in shape. Okay, another thing we have here, it's an additional fit. Her current legs are one piece with her feet. It looks really nice and realistic with high heels, but if you want a bit more flexibility, you would need a replacement jointed legs. Another thing is that those feet has two jointed knee. We can tell by looking on these bean looking plastic pieces. Okay, this is also her additional leg parts. Uh, smells like a fresh resin. <laughs> Let's open her outfit now, because when I open the door, I wanna dress her up. Starting from the underwear, she has really nice white bra. Cups here are soft, just like a real one. Straps are stretchable. Behind it fastens with a hook. Her panties are fairly simple with cute laces and white bow on the front. Her high socks are also simple and white. They're made with a stretchy material that feels nice to the touch. The blouse is also white with long sleeves. The fabric is just a little bit shiny and rough. It has cute pin tucks on the front. Sleeves and front fastens with metallic buttons. On shoulders, folks inserted soft foam so they maintain their shape. The top part of the dress is made from soft black fabric, which reminds me of velvet. It is decorated with black laces and golden beads. On the back, it fastens with the lace. I don't see any other zippers or buttons, so every time you will want to put it on or take it off, you will need to go through the lace-up process. Her underskirt is white and very big. It is made mostly from mesh and the first level has a cotton white part with lace attached. Overall, I counted six layers of fabric, which makes the skirt very puffy. However, at least two layers are soon a bit lower together, so they won't make the waist area too thick. It fastens in the rear with a hook. The main skirt is made from the same velvet material as the top. It is, has a very big volume. It has a wide horizontal ribbon decoration that goes around it. Behind, it fastens with a hook, zipper and with long velvet ribbon. Additionally, she has a very nice black ribbon that goes around her neck as a bow. Sorry, I already managed to crumple it. Another white one for a bow for her hair. The white ribbon made me a bit disappointed because the edges are not fixed and already starting to fray. Okay guys, it's finally time to take the doll from the box. Right now she looks like this. So it's uh, soft pillows here, but under it the draw march. Oh my god! She's so beautiful! I want you to see her. Look at this beautiful lady. Isn't she great? She has an SD 
graffiti body. She's wearing a mask to protect her face up. Oh my god, I didn't know that. She also has like protective little plastic boxes on her hands because her hands are painted. Okay, let's take her. Damn. Okay, that's better. Now I'm not afraid to touch this beautiful lady. Ah, oh, she's heavy. Oh my god. Look at her. Okay. We have another pillow here. Nothing else. Let's take this box away. This is the view of her wearing a protective mask on her head and protective boxes on her hands. I don't know. I guess we should carefully try to take off things from her hands. Her hands is so beautiful. Blushing on her hands is very lovely. They made an accent on her nails too. I wish I had the same blushing on her additional hand. I guess I will need to do it myself to match them. As it is my first super dolphy, I was really interested to look on the body more closely. Her elbows are too jointed, but her high heel knees are just one joint. I wonder what was the problem to make it two joints too as her additional jointed legs. It's more aesthetics. She can bend in her chest back and forth and stay in this position using additional stoppers. As I said before, her legs are connected to her feet in a high heel leg version. Overall, this body looks really nice and definitely not the worst one I've seen. Okay, I think it's time to dress her. This is our current state. Let's continue. Next, it was a uh, blouse. This is incredible jaw merch in her blouse. Now I think I can take them off because it's mostly covered in um, her outfit. Damn, they could make like little zipper. Just little tiny teeny zipper. I think maybe this under skirt goes on top of it. Damn, it will take like forever! I thought always that this outfit is a dress, like one piece dress, but it actually separated pieces. Okay, I finally figured it out how to put it on. So skirt goes on top of everything. I actually cheated and read the instructions. Probably I needed to do it from the beginning. Also, I put on her underskirt. And now let's put on her shoes. <laughs> I feel like in Cinderella fairy tale. Alright, look at them. And here on a dress we have this little loop. Now we need to use this little ball to put around her neck. Ok, 
Okay, now I think time to take your mask off and wear a wig. She has a very gorgeous face up. Before, I was very skeptical about Wolf's face ups, but this one completely changed my mind. It is very gentle and cute. She has very puffy lips, which are painted a bit over their contour, making them even bigger. Her eyes makeup has a bit smoky corners and white lines going from the inner corner on top. She has grey glass eyes, which are fixed for her to look on the side. Eyebrows have an unusual rounded shape, but I actually really like it. As all Volk's Super Dolphy dolls, on the back she has a metal shield that contains information about the year and place of the doll release. Interested how her head looks inside. Inside we can see Volk's famous style of fixing eyes inside the doll head by using hot glue. It will be a bit of a challenge if I will decide to replace them or move. I'm for a wig. I'm kinda impressed with her wig quality. It is very soft to the touch, like silk. On the bottom her hair has little curls, which make it just enough for me because very curly wigs are usually hard to maintain. The wig cup is black. To fix your hair, they also put on additional teeny hairband. Two hours later. I hope you liked what was happening here. I was super nervous because it's my first Volks doll. What do you think about my new uh, Joe March? Do you like BJD dolls? Do you own any BJD dolls? Let me know in the comments down below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you really enjoy my doll videos. It will support me and inspire me to make videos more often. Hope you're staying safe at home. Kong Kong!